Hey everyone, I'm Zach, welcome to Rockonomics. Today we're gonna to be discussing Filecoin and Arweave and why they're two projects that you need to keep an eye on in the coming months. One thing that humanity is doing at a greater rate than perhaps anything else is creating data. 2.5 quintillion bytes, that's 18 zeros per day. Now we think back to Moore's law, which dictates the number of transistors in a microchip doubles every two or so years. Like we have an idea maybe perhaps with the example of there's more computing power, right, in a happy birthday card, the card that sings happy birthday, than there was an Apollo 11 that went to the moon, okay? So Falcon and Arweave are trying to sort out the problem of where we put this data in opposed to these data centers that Google and Amazon have, they're trying to find a decentralized solution. So what is Filecoin? Filecoin is humanity's decentralized storage network designed to store the most important information of humanity. It's an open source cloud storage marketplace protocol and also cryptocurrency. Filecoin is headed up by Juan Bennett, who created IPFS, which is an open source peer-to-peer -peer decentralized web protocol. Born in Mexico, he's also been through Y Combinator in 2014, which helped companies launch like Stripe, Airbnb, and Coinbase, of course. So he's an individual of note who is leading the Filecoin platform. Filecoin is a little bit like BitTorrent. It lets users store and share data. Another example cited many times is that of Airbnb. Lots of people had an extra room in their house not being used. And what Airbnb did was it created a marketplace for these people to make an income from an otherwise dormant asset. So lots of people and organization have storage on their laptops and PC that they don't use. So if they sign up to Filecoin, they can earn some of the Filecoin token. The Falcon was founded in 2014 and then it was relaunched in 2017, right? Where it raised $200 million in 30 minutes, which is a record. It has to be a record. Nothing like that has ever been done before. And also it has 11 exabytes of capacity, which is far greater than any of the competition at this point in time. Okay, breaking down here, we can see um, at the very top, we have six month, 12 month, 24 and 36 month, making up at the six month tranche 22%, which was 44 million in total. And we can see there to the left, and um, that broke down as 7.33333 per month over the first six months, which ended on the 15th of April, okay? And then with the next tranche, which is two and a half million per month, right? And that was front, that is now expiring on the 15th of October, okay? So that made up 15% of the total supply of Filecoin. And uh, it was really, really interesting. So, so basically two and a half million Filecoins are just coming off the market, which basically breaks down to about 80 odd thousand um, per day. So that's just the supply that's dried, dried up. And then the 24 month is small. So the next one won't really matter that much because it's only 416,000 like that's tiny in comparison to the two and a half mil and the 7.3 mil and that's happening in, in 24 months in like another 12 months time anyway and then finally the, the 36 month one which is again 3.22222 million per month and that's like um makes a 58 percent of the total and that's not not being affected for another 12 or 24 months actually because um we're at the we're almost coming up to october 15th now and that's when the two and a half million will be gone on. And we've also got to think about like a large amount of file coins are being pledged to the miners, which is included in circulation but not actually readily available for sale. So with this continuous expansion of daily pledge and destruction, the actual circulation of file coin is going to get smaller and smaller, which like you can only assume is going to um, be good for the market and for the price. So let's have a look at the charts quickly. So here we can see the daily chart for Filecoin, and if we look back to um, the build up to the 15th of April, which was when the six month tranche finished, we have a massive build up here, like from about the 22nd of February, all the way up to March, a little bit of a sell off then, and then or boom, huge green candles, massive green candles up to like April, where then it like petered out a little bit, and then uh, it went down along with the rest of the market. Um, around that time and then we can see there's been a bit of a build up from July you know just 40 and it went up to about high of what about, what's that about 120 and we've had a huge head off in the market last few days as we can see here and it's touched a low of 50 bucks like and now it's made us some a really nice recovery so I really see that um going up a bit further in like anticipation for uh, October 15th however we've got, a, we've got a few lines of resistance that we must get through and um, we have the VWAP from the high 
which is considerably a bit away. It's about ninety-six dollars. And the VWAP from the most recent high, which is you know still descending, so it's eighty-four. That's not necessarily that good either. We here we can see the volume sell-off was pretty big there. There's a huge spike, obviously on the eighth of September, which is when the crypto market in general um fell off its cliff. Thanks to classic old Bitcoin, eh? And uh, yeah, so looking to look, um, I reckon seventy-seven dollars around about then if starts break through that. And these VWAPs start leveling out and start even going upwards. I think it'd be pretty interesting for Filecoin. And I do really see that as one of the real um, bounce back coins in the next, you know, two to three weeks. Arweave is another competitor in the decentralized storage space to Filecoin. And it aims to build what it calls the PermaWeb, right? And the PermaWeb looks very like the normal web, except all of its content, from images to web apps, is permanent, it's retrievable quickly, and it's decentralized forever. Just as the first web connected people over vast distances, the PermaWeb aims to connect people over large periods of time. So it could be generational in that sense, and there'd be no more 404s, no more stealth edits, no more web apps that decline in quality, no more way back machine, and no more deleting tweets, right? You'd, ha user, you'd have users, right? Then you'd have the permaweb layer, and then beneath that you'd have the arweave layer, okay? So it, it looks different to the traditional web, as in it's immutable, it cannot be changed, it's decentralized, it's controlled by you, the user. There's very little upkeep, or zero upkeep, in fact, and what their unique selling point is, you pay once, and then it's stored forever. And here you can see how the servers would look differently from the traditional web. Again, similar to Filecoin here, there's lots of unused space that you're getting charged for in traditional servers, whereas with an Arweave server, you would have everything just um, like used efficiently. Arweave is headed up by CEO Sam Williams, who is the one who helped create the Arweave protocol, which in its essence is a permanent archive of human knowledge and experience on the blockchain. So Sam's passionate about building innovative software, solving complex problems in distributed computer networking. Besides his activities at Arweave, Sam actively participates in decentralization space as a technical advisor and a mentor of blockchain projects. Although Arweave is a lot smaller than Filecoin at this point in time, it has grown a lot very quickly over the past three or four months and has been one of the leading um, growing cryptocurrencies. Um, it's also been used by growing projects like Koi and Sarcophagus and no doubt many others will begin to use it, especially those minting NFTs. Um, in regards to who has like back Koi, we have well, we have Coinbase Ventures who really need no introduction, they're very very big in the space. We also have the VC Andreas Horowitz, again you know doesn't really want to need much of an introduction, they're massive like. And then we also have Multicoin Capital who are just three of like a fair few amount of uh, sponsors and VCs that uh, are involved with Arweave. Next I'm just going to go over a quick technical analysis. So before I get into just this quick TA on Arweave, I just want to give a shout out to our community on Telegram. I'd really recommend anyone who's watching this video give us a join. I've left a link in the description there. Uh, we've grown very, very fast recently, but we've still got a core group of people who we know and love, like the boys of Forest Staking, Michelle, Blessed, Gomez, and many others. Like You know who you are, and you really make this uh, community, so thanks very much. Um, so quickly here with Arweave, like, we can see that there's been a massive run-up since about... like. Um, um, July so about 28th of July we were s about seven seven odd dollars right and then we had a massive run up to about 36 there on August 18th you know which is like 8 16 30 so it's like a 4x 5x there and then um then back down a bit of uh, consolidation as is needed and then another massive pull up to about 70 bucks there and then it went in between like 50 and 60 50 and 65 bucks for like a few days like and then we had obviously see at the start around September 9th, September 10th, and um, we had the Bitcoin sell-off and like most uh, charts in crypto, um, like, you know, it looks a bit like this. We've, um, if you look at the VWAP here, which is anchored from the top here at $64, uh, next level of resistance, maybe about 52. So if we can push through that 52 level, I think it could be quite interesting. I think we're, we could be straight up to about 60, 64 again. And then going forward into later on in the year, I think if we push through 
through that like you know 65 and um, 70 level and have a clear break I think we can definitely move up towards 80 85 um, so that's basically it from Arweave and Filecoin I think they're two very interesting projects especially Filecoin with supply that has um that's going to be diminished um, quite significantly on the 15th of October um, my name is Zach you've been watching Brokenomics please give us a like a subscribe join the telegram and uh, I hope you just all have a fantastic day thank you